Using telescopes above the veil of Earth's atmosphere, space-borne astronomy has greatly increased our knowledge of the universe. However, ground-based observatories still have a major role to play. For instance, the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, or VLT, in the mountains of northern Chile is constantly pursuing investigations based on results obtained by ESA space missions. One thing is very clear, you can build larger installations on the ground, of course, and they are somewhat cheaper than space missions, and you can repair them, you can evolve them in a different way than you can do with space missions. This leads to space missions being extremely specialized and dedicated. They are like high precision surgical tools, while the ground-based instruments always have the aspect of a Swiss army knife. Situated at the top of Cerro Paranal, a mountain in the Atacama Desert, rising to an altitude of 2,600 meters, the VLT is the world's highest optical observatory and one of the most powerful. Far from the pollution of city lights and above the surrounding atmospheric turbulence, this is one of the driest places on Earth. The complex consists of four large telescopes with 8.2 meter primary reflectors and four smaller mobile ones with 1.8 meter mirrors. Using sophisticated cameras, they can work separately or jointly. Each of the big telescopes can work by itself, that is, each one will observe a different star, so separate scientific objectives can be pursued. There is another mode which consists in harnessing two or three telescopes, eventually four, and then with all looking at the same star, one doesn't just add the light, but we use the technique called interferometry. In this mode, two or more telescopes collect the light from the same celestial source, but which is received slightly out of phase due to the separate detectors. Computers then synchronize the signals, producing even sharper pictures of the target, to the great satisfaction of the visiting astronomers. We can uh, look with this big machine we have here, the VLT, at the heart of uh, our Milky Way galaxy. And there we know for some time, in fact, from measurements we have done here at the VLT, that there's a big, massive black hole. And, and the purpose of our measurements now, together with a whole suite of uh, telescopes in space, including the ESA X-ray telescope, XMM, and the Integral Mission, also the Hubble Space Telescope, and many other telescopes, all are looking right now at the Galactic Center, and we are trying to understand how this big black hole is basically gobbling up material, and as it does so, it flares and radiates every few hours, and by looking at the different wavelengths and how the radiation comes out, we can understand, in fact, how black holes eat, if you like, and grow. The VLT carries out observations in many fields of astronomy. One of the most exciting is the search for and the study of planets outside our solar system. The Koro mission provides another example of how closely spacecraft and ground telescopes such as the VLT work together. Koro is the most sensitive photometer we have ever designed. It measures the changes in light and what it sees is when a body passes in front of a star, there is a little dip in the light from that star, but that's only half the story. Now you have to start uh, studying the star, so you find out how big the diameter of the star is. You will have to measure uh, the velocity of the star as the, the object is passing around it, and when you have all this information, you can determine what the mass and the size of the object that is passing around uh, is. And then you may be able to come to, to the world and present a bona fide Earth-like planet. But without the one, uh, you don't have the other. So it's truly an, a, a real symbiosis. Exploring the universe with the Very Large Telescope at Paranal offers astronomers each day its rewards, furthering their studies, making new discoveries, and giving them the immense pleasure of working in this unique, heavenly location high above the clouds.